What we're looking for here is to keep things as simple as possible. I use this line, I need to get it made on a t-shirt. Simple scales, complex fails. You'll never be able to do the complex if you can't first do the simple. So find out what is the minimum number of activities and things that have to happen for your business to function and for it to be profitable. Dial that in and it's a game changer like it was for Den Lenny. So I've got countless examples of businesses once they reach minimum viable systems. It's almost like you reach this escape velocity. Uh, velocity. You don't stop systemizing, but you've got enough in place that the business makes that profit and can continue to turn, which then means you can really start to focus in on some of the things that are going to really move the needle. Now, Dan Lenny, and uh, he's uh, become a, a, a friend and a colleague now, but he, when he discovered systemology, uh, it's uh, this guy right here, uh, he read the book first and he's a, uh, he, he's a videographer, uh, he's run his own production studio, then he moved to Australia and now he's got a business where he teaches other videographers how to run successful businesses. And at the heart of what he's doing is systemology and a lot of the insights that he's learned on then tailoring that to the video production industry. Now, when he first started, he read the systemology book, he followed the process and he started to record videos of him doing different tasks in the business. He didn't have much of a team at that point in time. He just was recording them and saving it into a Google Drive. Then he hired a VA and he gave them the systemology book, put them through the um, business systems accelerator, which we'll talk a little bit later and said, all right, VA, follow this process, document these processes and get me to minimum viable systems. And you can see as his team started to grow and he started to add new team members on board, this first team member that came on board, Milka, who was a VA, went through that process and started to basically not first, she captured some of the processes, but then as she did it, she said, Oh, I can do that for you, Den. Oh yeah. I can do that task for you, Den. And before he knew it, he completely systemized a key part of his marketing, which was um, he'd use podcasting and he'd syndicate that podcast across LinkedIn and a couple of other different platforms, but he was getting caught up in this admin type work that once he taught the VA how to do it, she started to doing it. So then he started moving around all different parts of the business and took all of the busy work off his plate. And he found that he could increase his prices. He saw a, an uplift in his revenue by 85% within 12 months. And he went from working from six days a week down to three days a week, all while making more money because he just became more efficient. And just that idea alone helps you to understand why systems are so important in times of recession, because it's about efficiency. It's about how can you operate as leanly as possible, as efficiently as possible, so that you can weather any storm. Systems give you options. Systems give you margin for error. Systems enable you to, you know, build out virtual team members and start to work with um, offshore team. I know sometimes when people take someone in, from overseas, they, they're like, oh, how do I make sure that they're doing the right thing? Or, oh, I spend so much time directing them, I don't get the result. With systems, and then they just get frustrated with it, and then they throw the idea out the window. But with systems, you can really lead your team to, to get the right result, whether they're sitting right next to you or they're on the other side of the world. Now, after Den did this, then he started sending me all of these photos of all of the fun things that he was starting to do with his time as he started to get the wins. Now, Den wasn't typical for systemology in that most of the time we're working with businesses with small teams, but he did prove to me that this, this can work even if you're a solopreneur. There's just some slight tweaks that you need to make in your approach but systemology applies at all levels, whether or not you've got a small team or whether or not it's you solo, it's kind of like the, the stepping stone. <laughs>